Hey everybody, AJ here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to improve the search results in Microsoft Outlook. If you're like me, you spend the majority of your day in Outlook sending and receiving emails, and truthfully, you spend a lot of that time also looking for emails as well, right? Outlook has a search functionality, but there are times where I wish it would just be that little bit more specific or that little bit more detailed. So what I'm going to teach today is a simple trick to speed up and narrow down your Outlook search results. Of course, if you find this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really want to supercharge the way you use Microsoft Office, hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of my updates. And with that being said, let's get into it. So what I have in front of me is my Microsoft Outlook, and I'm sure this looks very familiar to a lot of you. In my inbox here at the top, just under the ribbon, there is a box that says search her mailbox. And I'm sure this is the tool that majority of you use to search your mailbox. And I can almost guarantee that there's been at least one or two times that you've been frustrated because it doesn't put up the search results that you're after. So that's all gonna to change today with this simple trick. What I want you to do is select on the current mailbox as if you were gonna search for something. But instead of typing in something you wanna search for, I want you to scroll up to the ribbon here and you see the option that says more. We're gonna drop down this option that says more and you're gonna see a whole bunch of extra search options here. So what I want you to do is find the ones that are important to you when you're searching for emails and pull them across. What I typically have here is attachments from to body. I've selected here the five most common tools that I use to search my Outlook. The great thing about this is they're set and forget. They're always gonna appear here next time you hit search. So just to show you that, I'm gonna pop out of this search. I'm gonna open it up again. And you see we have the typical bar that we, that we already use. And now we've got the options to, to filter by search, body, to, from, attachments. And there's a whole bunch of different ones. So if there's something more specific or more related to your work, just scroll up into that more option and pull it across. I just want to let you know that this is a demo account. So there's not actually a whole bunch of emails in here. So what I'm searching for is most likely going to appear straight away. But I can guarantee you, if you use this in your inbox, it will definitely save you time, effort, and a whole lot of frustration. So that being said, back to the demo. Imagine you're looking for a specific email from Alex around a proposal that was a few weeks old, but you and Alex have had a whole bunch of dialogue since then, back and forth emails, and finding that specific email with that specific attachment is really quite difficult. What I want you to do is select on that search option, just as you normally would. So we know that this was from Alex, and I'm gonna start typing in his details, and it's gonna start filtering by Alex. Next, I have the option to select did it come with an attachment on it or not? And yes, we're looking for the email with an attachment. So we're gonna drop down that menu and we're gonna say, go attachment, yes. Perfect, you can see here that it has started to filter everything. But again, imagine you and Alex have had a whole bunch of dialogue and there is 50 emails here instead of five. To filter it down even further, we're now gonna search under the word body. And this is where it's gonna search the body of that email for the specific words that you're typing in. So we're looking for the North Wind proposal. So I'm gonna open up my keyboard here, start typing in the proposal, and you see here that the search results narrow down. And now I have two results here from Alex with the North Wind proposal. And that is my tip to improve your search results in Microsoft Outlook. So just to recap, the way to improve the search results in Microsoft Outlook is simply selecting the search option, but instead of typing, scroll over to the, the more option, drop that down, pick the properties that are relevant to you. It could be something that is in a particular folder, or you're looking for something with a high importance status. Whatever it may be, they're gonna appear under your search bar as extra options and filters to narrow down your search results. And it's that simple. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know what other content you want me to cover. But if you really wanna supercharge the way you use Microsoft Office, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.